Huh? Put it on me. Oh. Okay. Cut. <laughs> we'll take that in and edit and don't worry. <laughs> okay. The magic of uh, editing. All right. Hello. We are here at the launch to Benchu Lake over that way. Big East Lake is that way, but we're not going there. Who's we? Me, Ronnie, and my cameraman, aka Anthony. Anthony. Headed off on our first uh, father son canoe trip. Portaged uh, our first load of stuff over to the launch. Now we're going to take the canoe, go across the street, and we're out of here. That's right. That's a wrap. Keep paddling, I'm rolling. Oh. <laughs> some, some paddling shots here. Hello. <laughs> Coming up on our first portage, looking pretty familiar. I know. It's been a couple weeks. All right, we're in Poker Lake. First portage done. First and worst of the day. How was it, Anthony? It was it was tough, obviously with its challenges, but I, I'm glad that we got it out of the way. Yeah. How bitten up are you? Probably a lot. I can't <laughs> see any now, but I must have at least like 12. We're gonna get you some nice light colored pants for next time. Yeah. Well, I have pants, but. I'll wear them at night or maybe right after this. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Nope. I'm confused. Okay, so there, there. there we go. Nice. Okay. Now it should be looking right where you're looking. Alright. <laughs> Coming up to our fourth and final portage of the day. 100 meters from Quirk Lake into Cinder Lake, our home for the evening. We are going to Cinder Lake. <clears throat> this is the final portage, which is quite nice, I must say. Um, the other portages, the other portages were pretty good, uh, except for one. One was a bit challenging, but we got through it. That's what we do. See some water, do you guys see that? 
between the trees, between the between the rocking plants. I don't know. <laughs> Carrying a net with fishing rods, I don't know if you guys could see. <laughs> I actually have no idea where the camera is, so. But I hope you guys could see. <sighs> All right. Looks like we're approaching the legendary water. Look at that, nice. Ugh. I believe this is a 50 meter portage. No, I think a little longer, maybe 100 meter. I think so, 100, 150 meter. Just a nice estimate. <clears throat> All right, but looks like we are approaching. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Not bad. I know. Not bad at all. <laughs> we are still on. Yeah. We good? We are good. <clears throat> We're heading back to water oh, nice little 360 jump I'll do anything for the fans <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's enough of Anthony Cam for this episode. We'll Bye. see you at camp. I think we're gonna make it through here. It would really suck if we get stuck now. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. That's manpower. Oh, ho, ho. All right, there's a campsite coming up. What number is that? That's not gonna be ours yet. I think this is one of the ones I was looking at. I was looking at three potential ones along this stretch and I picked the last one. Yeah, this is the island one. Seventy seven, I'm guessing. It is too tiny. I think it says 70, 76. This side doesn't look very good for landing. We'll go around the point and see, make sure this is our site. I'm pretty sure this is our site. You remember what site we are? Uh, I'm guessing 75. We're site 75. You gotta remember that in case you get a call 911. If this is our site, I'm so jumping off these rocks. That doesn't count as cliff diving, right? No, it's like five feet up.
Don't tip us now, man. Huh? Don't tip us now. We're so close. <laughs> All right. Yeah, how about? What? Perfect. I knew this was it. All right. Let me go find a tree to pee on. This is an awesome sight. I know that jump looks pretty well. Nice exposed point. I'm not gonna have bug problems. <sighs> yep. This is happening right now. I'm so hot. I brought a bathing suit, but no time. No towel? No time. Oh, no. Boxers will do. I brought a spare pair. And the camera's still running. Oh. Yeah, it came for a pee for me, I forgot. We'll fix that in editing. All right, everybody. We ready? the grand tour while I get our fishing rods for the All right, ladies. Oh yeah, the accent, that's definitely mandatory. Oh. I noticed that the last time we went camping, I watched some of the videos. You and your sister both slide into that British accent real it's just, fast, eh? It's just, I didn't even notice it, <laughs> to be honest. It's just not. Come, come click check. Do it for Kobe. <laughs> I said that? <laughs> what? Well, hello, everybody. I 
and three of the great Navy SEAL Army of Class 2038. Okay, well, we are to be on the GoPro. Okay, <coughs> we are doing a tour of the campsite. So I will do the front of the campsite later. Alright, so this is our barracks. So, we got the my hammock, and we also got like a makeshift bow someone made for us. Pretty nice. <clears throat> and then we have Ronnie's barracks here, tied down hammock. Very, very nice. We have the table that's falling apart clearly, but we're not going to eat that. We have the actual good table with our food barrel, our equipment, knife, phone, radio, all the gentle jabbles, all the good, all the good stuff. <clears throat> we have a nice long tree that you could climb across into that uh, into that little tree house there. But yeah. <clears throat> And then this way is a uh, to toilet. Ah, no, I must be a French word. <clears throat> I want some, you know, cuckoo. Um, but yeah, toilet. We got another one of those toilet signs. I am so funny, I must say. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have a toilet sign. That's what I meant to say. <clears throat> and I think the box is somewhere over there. I don't want to check for it, to be honest. Because <clears throat> it's smelly. Uh, and yeah, that is the forest. Anyway, that is our backyard. I don't know why I started at the backyard. Don't question me. Uh, but we also have our little backyard pool. Always wanted a pool. Couldn't get a pool. Here's our pool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know why I started at the Started at the backyard, but, uh, you know, I have my way, let me do, and yeah, we will move on to the front of the barracks, or, well, we're at the barracks right now, front of the headquarters, so at the side, we have a bunch of water, you know, very, very nice, especially when we first got here, the sun was shining, it was hot, but it was looking nice, still is looking very nice, must say. Here we have the bonfire that we will make meals on, and chair number one, chair number two, say hello. Hi. <laughs> and we got a nice water view to sit out on, and the sun right there. I think we're going to get a nice good sunset. So that gonna be good. Moving on to the left portion of the headquarters. We have a little walkway here. Very nice. You can enjoy enjoy the, uh, the nice views. Left, right, forward, and rear. Alright. <clears throat> we have the nice automobile. It's not really auto, but the canoe. Nice. Very rare, very nice canoe for this So, two paddles there. Yeah, that's just the uh, the parking lot, I guess. He likes it. Nice view. That, that the same one. Look at this. Look at this water. Look at this. <clears throat> very, very nice. Alright. Shall we keep going? If you haven't noticed, I do have a nice walking stick. It was like twice as long, but I broke it. Yeah. You know how I broke it? Because I'm a boss. Yeah. <clears throat> Might take a while for you viewers to become one of those, but if you keep watching this, then you might soon become one. Nah, I'm, uh, I'm kidding. You guys are already bosses. <clears throat> and then here we have the front of the ship. You know how there's always a little, 
I don't know what it's really called, really. It's like the head of the ship, the the deck, I guess you could say. The front the front quarters deck. Kinda where Captain is. I don't know. Why am I why am I still talking? <clears throat> but yeah, we have a nice nice little view. What is what is in there? Do you guys see that? It's like a little opening. Anyway. We have a very nice view. This is Ronnie over there, he doesn't know him. Ha! Let's go. If we don't stand up right now, then... Okay, never mind. He doesn't know him. Ah. Alright. <clears throat> okay. What am I doing? We have some nice moss on the ground. I don't think you guys really care. We have a nice little... Nice little kind of cliff, I guess you could say. If I had to estimate, I'd say it's about six. Six feet, not even. Like from where my shoes to where the water is. Yeah, five and a half feet. Yeah, that that's my estimate. A uh, little cliff, definitely gonna jump off it later without any doubt. Whoa, I'm not gonna do it now. You crazy? But anyway, boys and girls, women and men, and uh, yeah, I do not discriminate. Not. I think that will be it. Oh, actually, I don't think so. We'll be, we'll be in touch with more footage of Ronnie and Anthony's adventure of 2039 from the National Ontario Barracks Association. Just made that up. N D B O A Association. Anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna head back to. Rone <clears throat> or Ron IE. I don't know how to pronounce it though. Might be Ron IE or Ron EA. I don't know. You guys are gonna have to tell me in the comments. <clears throat> Let's see what the comments have to say. That's a 2018 rewind reference for you youngsters out there. Anyway. We are back to the center point of the headquarters. <laughs> yeah. Con the headquarters. Should we stop the tape now? Is there anything we want to say? Show? Alright now. Hmm. Okay. I think that will be it, guys. Talk to you. Uh, definitely later. Definitely, definitely later. Probably an hour or two. Or I, I actually have no idea. I think we're gonna go fishing or something. <coughs> yeah, look at this boat. All right, nice. And uh, oh, oh my God, I forgot. Um, there are these little like tomb symbols. This is. Yeah, I... Get a real close up on those. All right. So this is a snake eating itself. So. If you can't see right there, right there, that's the snake's head, and also that's its tail, so it's eating its tail, and it's wrapped around, and there's this little symbol, and I think it's like a cult symbol or something, I don't know, I just made that up, uh, but uh, yeah, apparently it's like Jemiah's cult of 2038, but I don't know, and then we have another symbol here, this is like, supposed to be like a triangle eating a triangle I just made that up I have no idea what it's supposed to be what was that no and then lastly we have like an, an octagon eating an octagon I don't know but those are the three symbols this island's probably cursed we're probably not gonna get off this island if you find this please contact everybody I know I'm just kidding you guys are going to see it again. Don't worry. Uh, but anyway. I think that is it. I think that's our campsite to there. And uh, yeah. We will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Alright guys. Very quick recording. We are putting that food barrel. That has a bunch of food. And uh, nice little treats. <clears throat> and we were putting that, oh, what happened? We were putting that, probably that, um, 
up so no bears or raccoons or anything could get it because we don't have a bear box so you know gotta do what you gotta do yeah sometimes this can be uh, quite an ordeal to get this just right Oh, it's yeah. stuck the landing. Oh, it's right where I want it around the branch. But there's not enough weight to pull it down. Oh, man. Don't worry. All right. Keep rolling, keep rolling, we're gonna go. <laughs> That's a lesson in life, viewers. Trial and error. You try, fail, try, succeed. Do not give up. We're gonna take our bag of tent pegs and other assorted supplies, attach it to the rope, and chuck it out of it. Our bill. All right. Now the branch I want is not where I want. Damn. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't break the bag, that's a Velcro strap. Okay. Good, good. Or a button strap. We'll go around one of the sewn in loops. You guys didn't see anything. That was That'll that's... go on like the outtake reel. <laughs> Camping bloopers. Oh, Let's see it shake it out. No. Oh. Damn, it's stuck. No. A little too high. See, that's what I'm saying. It's hard to get it just right. Yeah. Looking pretty good. No, I can't get around that branch. Ah. Trial and there. This is the one. I think this is the one. We come this way. There we go. Yeah! Nice! Exactly where I wanted it. I think the, the viewers at home prayed for us. And it worked. Alright, clip that and leave it so it's ready for us for later. Alright. And that's how you secure your food if you don't have a, a, a bear box. Or any sort of box. And what else we're going to do is we're going to attach this bell to the carabiner which is going to hold the barrel and that way just in case anything does try even up in the tree that should wake us up sounds secure all right <coughs> Nice pillow and blanket now. Nice. Alright, 
grab your water bottle. All right. Make sure you're drinking enough water. Don't get dehydrated. I will not. Bring the water filter. Axe and saw. All right. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Hope this doesn't go oh, on like. Bring the camera in case we catch fish. Yeah. Hope this doesn't go on like a conspiracy YouTube channel. Like, oh, if he freeze frame here, you'll see a dead guy or something. Let's hope not. But uh, if I am on that channel, hello. I didn't see the dead guy, and I still don't see him. But who knows? <clears throat> okay. What am I saying? Anyway. We'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bathroom break.
gonna try splitting this guy. All right, see how it's got that natural crack in it? Yeah. It's called a check. That's how we know it's dry. It, oh. It's split on its own because it's dry. That's gonna help you split it. Okay. So you try to aim for that. Keep your feet apart and swing straight down. Both ends. Whatever makes you more comfortable. Just make sure you're going, you're going with the ax straight down into this, all right? Don't do like a swinging motion like it's gonna come between your legs, all right? Go straight down. You think I get these on the first shot every time? <laughs> Not likely. Second try. Hey. Not bad. Not bad. Some more with a nice natural check in it too. Sometimes the trickiest part is just to get it to stand up right. There we go. Wait. There you go. The thermosil is putting out some smoke. Let me put it right behind you because the wind is going this way a little bit. There you go. You don't need the distraction of bugs while you're trying to chop wood. Exactly. Oh. Don't be afraid to really give her, as long as you're going straight down into that log and it's not going to swing back towards you, Okay. then just don't be afraid to really give it a good whack. Nice. Hey. looks pretty straight grain though so sometimes they just split really nice ah. There, hold on, leave it in. Try doing this trick. You hold it in, and you use another one to... That one's just a tough nut. <laughs> uh. 
try to quarter that one using that technique. Alright. Turn it the other way if you're gonna be like this. You can just kind of hold it down and do one to dig it in there. There you go. Aha! Nice! Try that with this one. Look at how nice that check is. Ah. You stick the axe right in there and give it a good bash. So you're going right in there a little more so it's going to go straight through the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. Do one good whack. Do it in one, man. Uh, I'll try it. You don't get your hoops up. <laughs> ah. Ah, two. <laughs> Can be one, but next best thing. <sighs> Alright, you can try that one in your hands. Got oh. a nice crack in it, too. If you like using the baton, use this one. I definitely do. It's also a little safer to do it that way because you're not swinging a blade around. Yeah. Quite satisfying when they split, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> You can just pull that apart. Yeah. <laughs> there we go.
So that was a successful night, huh? Say good morning to the camera. Good morning. <laughs> See, there are some little bits of birch bark in that pile over there. You want to gather up whatever you can because we're going to start a fire. Cubby. some birch. <laughs> this is pretty nice. Last yeah. week where I went, when I got out of the uh, greenhouse in the morning it was so buggy that I just grabbed my food bag jumped right in the boat and just pushed off I made oh, my wow. coffee in the boat really? yeah I had the little alcohol stove so I'm just floating around in the little lake I was in in the middle away from the bugs Campfire. We got bacon. We got eggs. We got English muffins. All these things could be eaten separately or put together into a sandwich. Uh oh. What do you have for breakfast, Andrew? <laughs> what do you have for breakfast? Oh, there's tangerine. Oh.
Say hi. Hi, Roslyn. Good morning. All right. Let's eat you. Bye. Hello. You guys wanted to see some uh, some swimming footage, if you will. Well, you're not gonna see any swimming because it's kind of hard to film that. This up. There's actually like tadpoles. Little tadpoles. Oh god, there's a lot. I don't want to jump in them. Can you hurry up and swim? I don't want to show you guys, but take a while to reset it. Can you guys swim? Oh, crap. Might just somewhere else because I don't want to jump into them. Let me. I'm just gonna jump in the same spot. They're not swimming away. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you guys. I don't know if you guys could see that. I really don't think you can, but it's in the water. There's like a bunch of tadpoles swimming. Something. I don't know. I think it's tadpoles. I can't tell, but they're like, they're not moving. What, what's up with these guys? They're literally not moving, though. I'm a little confused. A little confused. I hope you guys can see that. Hope oh, you guys can see that. I might have to jump somewhere else, guys. Because I don't want to jump into them. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm gonna jump in the same spot. I think I'm just gonna adjust myself a little bit. I hope that's fell on the right spot. I think it is. Come to watch me jump. Huh? Come to watch me jump. Yeah. There's like tadpoles swimming. What? There's like tadpoles swimming. Yeah. <clears throat> You're gonna scare the hell out of them. That is true. Did you tie the canoe with a rope? No. <laughs> nice. 
didn't see it. I know. If you come around, it's really easy to get up in this little pool here. See that, guys? <laughs> that was the plan the entire time. No. You were waiting that whole time. <laughs> no, it wasn't the plan, dude. <sighs> Make sure you, oh. I don't know if you guys saw that. Oh, that feels better on my itchy legs. <laughs> I did go and use the box, eh? And I'm, I look over because I feel something on my arm. And there's a mosquito, and his butt is like a big red balloon. It's all my blood that he got. I don't know how long he'd been there. Ugh. Oh, man. God, the box. All right, well, I don't want to drain this battery. Oh, I think that's a wrap. Oh, don't step on fishing lures. Here we go. No. Nice. <sighs> Fresh it. Are you going again? Uh, we'll get the from the water shot. Sure. Oh, we need content here. Big jump, jump out as far as you can. Don't just drop in here. Do a big old run and jump. Wait, let me get to the other side so the lighting is better. Remember, this is all about the video, not for fun. <laughs> Yeah, I get the sun behind us. All right. Ready? Ready. I'm going, I'm ready. Might take an hour now. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> That's how it's done. <laughs> that is. Hmm. Gonna do a little, little video update on progress. We packed up our site and left. We're done two portages so far. We have two more. We did 185 into Muck Lake, which was more of a stumpy pond. And we did a 200 from Muck into Poker. And we're just going to paddle across this little bit of poker and do a, well, I don't know how long it is, but we're going into Upper Crane Lake. And we're going to paddle into Lower Crane Lake. And we're going to do one more portage into Benchu Lake, which is where we started out. Taking a little granola bar break out here in the middle, away from the bugs. And, uh... Yeah, having a good time. Getting a little sweaty. Probably gonna swim on the next lake. We both kept our bathing suits on. How are you doing up front? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. He's doing pretty good. This is not an easy overnight trip, but he's taking it like a champ. All right. Walking back on the last portage from Lower Crane Lake into Bent Shoe. I'm by myself because Anthony doesn't even wait for me anymore. Just grabs his first load of stuff and goes while I'm organizing and pulling up the canoe. Drops the load off and goes back. Awesome, he finds the way on his own and just uh, it's raring to go. I 
This is a pretty nice one. Oh. Hot out. Definitely looking for somewhere to go swimming. Trip of the last portage. High five. Oh. Oh. <laughs> See you on the other side. Oh. Huh? No I know. Hello, everyone. These portages, man, they are the stuff. <clears throat> They're not so bad. Some of them are harder than others, obviously. But, this was not so bad. This is actually not bad at all. I think it's, I'm struggling a little bit because we did three others before this and paddled uh, in between them, but really not so bad. Ooh. Hopefully that's a good camera. Yeah, this is a 200 meter portage from lower, uh, lower. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't remember the name. No, lower, lower lake. It's definitely not, not lower lake. Um, you know what? I'm gonna rename it Lower Boss. Lake to Bonchow Lake. So yeah, lower boss lake. LBL BL Bonchow Lake. <clears throat> anyway, how you guys doing? You guys doing fresh? Fresh delicious. You hear that? Those are boats. And that's because oh, we're done. All of Z Parktology and we're heading into an open little lake with boats and people and people and boats. You know the drill. Drill delicious. Is the end the last 20 meters I'll have to walk that's not true we're gonna have to walk back to the car but the last portage which is absolutely incredible I do believe, I do believe we are going to uh, go swimming in this lake because yeah we've got bites and bites and guess what? More bites. And we need to get them kind of sued. Not sued, that's definitely not the word for it. Um, I don't know. They just need to get polished a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna sit down here. Oh, that's so nice. There is probably like 20 maybe 30 other feelings like this in the world right after you do four portages and you get to sit down oh my god the feeling i could sit down in this grass for months minimum three months minimum probably nine weeks nine uh months max sorry oh god it is yeah, but four portages in, four portages out. Uh, definitely worth it for the campsite we got. Campsite we got was awesome. If you guys 
watch that nice uh, little campsite tour, then you would have saw that. <clears throat> but I actually don't know where we paddle out of here. Maybe there? Probably there. Um, the paddling is so, so nice after portaging because portaging is, you know, it's hard. Uh, no matter the distance, you're carrying a lot of stuff. Um, I wouldn't say it's unbearable, but you know, it's it's challenging, of course. Um, but paddling, man. Paddling is labor, but it's nothing. I don't know if I've gotten used to it over the years, but paddling is nothing compared to actually carrying stuff and, uh, yeah, feeling some weight on your shoulders. I will easily take, uh, and I'll stand by this, I'll easily take two hours of paddling over uh, shorter portaging. I'm not saying I don't like portaging, uh, but it's definitely, definitely harder. But the portages today um, weren't honestly that bad. The food barrels, I don't know why I'm like showing you guys this view while I'm talking, but whatever. The food barrel got way lighter because, you know, obviously we ate food. So full, full food barrel. We eat food, full minus we eat food equals half empty food barrel. So that got lighter by, I'd like to estimate 20, 20 pounds, I'd say, uh, 15 maybe. And uh, yeah, holy crap, um, that was the difference. But yeah, the portages today were not that bad. Um, at the end, it really doesn't feel like you've done four portages um so i like the feeling the feeling is fresh fresh alicious whatever <clears throat> anyway we have ronnie coming in with the uh canoe he actually got a canoe stuck on his head so that's his head that's not the canoe that's the that's his head but yeah pretty nice Yeah. So we're gonna pack everything into the. The portage trail is over. <laughs> yeah. Oops. <laughs> I think you do, guys. Right. Don't. <laughs> okay. All right. I think that is the end of all the portages. Oh. I need a swim in the water. Yeah, like I said, there's a little rock island. That way, right before we get out, that looks really nice for swimming. There's a bunch of people and their kids swimming a few weeks ago, so. Hopefully we'll have that. Nice. But yeah, we are gonna head out, guys. And uh, yeah. We'll probably be back for one more video, but I can't promise anything, but we'll probably be back. Anyway. That's it. That's it. <laughs> See you guys later.